Hi everyone, I'm Autumn with the Autumn Review. Um, I'm coming to you from my sister's house today because um, I can't get some peace and quiet at my house and my sister's gone for today and I had to let her dog out. So I'm glad you all, I mean you probably all want to know that, right? But um, anyway, so um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I had a really busy week this week and I got a lot of books this week. Um, mostly for review, and I got a lot of books from um, NetGalley, but also um, a lot of books for tours, and then I had a few friends release books this week, so um, I got those as well, and I'm looking forward to reading them. Um, and I also had um, a friend come into town, and we went to the Jennifer Armentrout book signing for... Um, the Damon Invasion tour. So um, that was a lot of fun and I'll tell you all about that in a few minutes. But I'm going to get started with my books for review. The first book is Butterfly by Katherine Harvey, Forever and a Day by Jill Chavez, Meant to Be by Lauren Morrill, The Theory of Attraction by Delphine Dryden, Whisper of Light and Seers of Light by Jennifer DeLucy, Actually, Sears of Light is the first book, and then Whisper of Light is the second book, and that's for a tour. Um, Love and Other Perishable Items by Laura Buzo, Lonely Souls by Carice Bolton, Dante's Girl by Courtney Cole, Hollywood Ever After by Sasha Summers, and Thomas in January by Fisher Amelie. The books that I bought... I bought um, Swim Recruit by Jennifer Lane. She's the author of a book I read recently called Streamline. And um, I really love Jennifer's writing. And I was a swimmer and I coach swimming. So um, this Swim Recruit was a, um, a free book on the Omnific website. They have a lot of um, free books by the by their authors that they publish there on the site. So you go check them out because they're, um, they're short, free reads, and um, they're all, they all pretty much look like romance reads. Some are adult. I think most of them are adult, but anyway, go check it out. It's a neat little site. Um, I also got A Discovery of Witches by um, Deborah Harkness, and I have wanted this book for a really long time, and um, I saw it, it came up for me as a special on Amazon this week. It was only like $2.99 um, for, for, for the Kindle. So um, I got that because I've been really wanting to read it for a long time. And I just haven't had an opportunity to um, read. I'm hoping this summer I can catch up on some of my reading after I get through some of my review requests. Um, and then I got Rapture by Lauren Kate, which I'm sure a lot of you all did too. I'm excited to read it. I've um, seen a few reviews on it already, and um, it's, you know, kind of sad to see the series end, but like all good stories, it's, I suppose it's time to move on. Um, the Golden Lily by Rochelle Mead. I'm excited to read that as well. I love Rochelle Mead. I love all of her books. I've read every series of hers, and... Um, I really, I really like Sydney. I know some people don't, but um, I really liked Bloodlines, and I'm excited to, to read this. And I've always been an Aiden fan. I like, um, of course, I love Dimitri with Rose. He was my pick all along, but I did like Aiden. So um, I'm, I'm glad that he has, he has a gal this time around. I mean, I don't know what happens in Golden Lily yet, but. I'm assuming, I mean, he's the lead character, so, lead guy character, so I hope something happens for him. And then, the last thing I got, what, um, bought, was The Knife's Edge by Stephanie Draven. I can't remember, I know my friend Andrea told me to get it, and I'm sure she'll probably correct me. I can't remember if it was a free read or what, but we do a, um, we do reviews on Saturdays myself and a group of my friends um, called Sexy Summer Saturdays, and we've been trying to select adult books to review on Saturdays that are a little bit more on the sexy side, and The Knife's Edge is one of those 
sexy reads. So um, I'm sure you'll see a review for it here at some point on one Saturday. Um, and then gifts I received, I got Exhale by Kendall Gray, and um, I just read Inhale. I finished it last night, and it was a beautiful story. And um, I actually had, I had one inhale from Andrea, the bookish babe, and um, I was telling her last night how much I loved it and that I needed to then go get Exhale, which is the second um, book in the series and she bought it for me last night she gifted it to me so she's excited for me to read it I guess so I'm, a, I'm looking forward to it too inhale is beautifully done I'm working on my review for that now you'll see that sometime this week um, and then I got onyx I got that signed by Jennifer Armentrout and she signed it for me Oops. Oh, and Stella and, and Pepe did too. Isn't that cool? So I'm really excited to read that. And then I also got um, Obsidian Signed by Stella and Pepe and Jennifer. And then I also got my Half Blood Signed. Oh, where is it? Sorry, guys. My half blood sign and my pure sign. There we go. Yeah. So I got those this week, and that was a lot of fun. Um, Jennifer Armentrout is as nice in person as she is if you chat with, with her online or if you've done one of her vlogs. Um, she really is. She's so friendly and very approachable and um, she's really funny too. I enjoyed talking with her and then um, of course we I got to meet um, Peppy and Stella, um, the models for her Lux series and, um, and they are gorgeous. <laughs> They're gorgeous. They're actually even more beautiful in person than they are in their photos. So, but they're also very sweet and also very approachable. So um, we were lucky. Um, my friend Heather and I um, and, and my friend Tiffany, we all went to the signing together and um, got to go have dinner with them and a group of people afterwards. So um, I got to sit right across from Stella and Pepe. And um, so I chatted with them during dinner and they were just so sweet they answered all my questions and um, they were just lovely lovely people to talk with and I was trying really hard not to be like a creeper and stare at Peppy the whole time because I mean let's face it Stella was sitting right next to him and that's her fiance and I just didn't want to be creepy but it was really hard not to stare and not to mention too that I'm married so I don't know if my husband would really like me staring at a guy like that but um, seriously, people, hate, they're gorgeous, so, and I got to hug them both, and I might have, I might have hugged Pepe maybe a few minutes longer than I needed to, possibly, but anyway, those of you who know me, you know the real answer to that, um, and then my friend, um, Tiffany King, she gave me a, cop a signed copy of Wishing for Someday Soon, I loved this book. Loved it, loved it. I think it's my favorite book of hers. So I really, I read Forever Changed recently too, and she gave me this too. They're really cool. I like her new little cards. Um, I read Forever Changed recently too, and I really liked that too. I love Tiffany as a contemporary author. I think she does, she's doing a great job. Um, and then um, the last book that I got was Shatter Me. I know, I'm late to the ball game, people, but... Um, Got Shatter Me. I'm borrowing it from my friend Gloria over at um, Glowbug and Hootie Needs a Book. And that she just added our friend Amanda to her blog. So um, I had to remember, I had to think for a minute how they worded their new um, blog name. But anyway, I think that's it. Oh, and um, I also, I meant to talk about this last week, but my kid's with me. I got sidetracked. So um, <clears throat> Paris Bolton sent me some really nice swag. I'm doing a couple tours for her and through um, 
A Tale of Many Reviews tours. And so she sent a bunch of swag for me. I like it. I love the little bag. I love tote bags. And it's really cool. This is for the um, the Watchers trilogy. I'm going to be, that tour is coming up here in a few not, not this week, but I think next week. I love her covers. I she really, they're gorgeous. I think I think Fat Fat Puppy does them. But anyway, um, they're gorgeous, and I'm gonna read. Um, I'm gonna be reading Lonely Souls, which is a new series, I believe, for her. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Carice. Lovely, lovely, lovely swag. I'll probably keep the bag for myself, but I'll definitely pass up bookmarks and stuff. <laughs> Um, I think that's it. I did get some exciting news this week, but I'm not sure if I should share it or not. So I'll check with my friend and then I'll get back with you guys next week. But um, I hope everyone has a great week and I can't wait to see what everyone's reading.